Trumpus again. Through the middle this time. Petrados out of the traffic. Nata across from deep. And at the second time, the header is in. They couldn't keep it out. Western Sydney Wanderers get the breakthrough, and Jared Carluccio is the man who has found the back of the net. You can see what it means to him. A first ice, Suzu Ute, A-League men's goal. Well, what a wonderful passage of play that is from Western Sydney Wanderers. Telling cross to the back post. You can see there as the ball's played wide, it's just a touch out of his feet on the Harvey Norman replay. And the Sun may have played a role in that, but ultimately, Carluccio was just hungrier for the ball. Petratos. Spins back out of the box. Budakutis pressing forward. Abini on the turn. Parried down. Could it be two in the blink of an eye? Not quite for Carluccio this time. Well, he's in the mood, isn't he, Carluccio? That's a great turn and strike, first of all, from Bernie Abiniisi. Lapane trying to knock it to his own advantage. Just takes on Uskok. Uskok stays goal side, though. Lifts across. Down it comes Carluccio. He scored one. And he's denied a second. It hits the crossbar. Well, that was harder to miss than it was to score. Jimmy Petrados can't barely believe that he hasn't found the back of the net with that. Some great work from Lapane and then Carluccio. Look at that. Ball down the right side. Early ball from McGing. Sliding through. Meredith should have done better on the instep, trying to open up his body for a left footed strike. And it lacks the power to beat the Hears. That's about it. Something that Villa should be focusing on at half time. Given away to Villa. Toure. And MacArthur finished the half with a bang. Just wide. Al Hassan Toure didn't get the curve he needed. Well, he just didn't do enough to get his toe around it. And Ziggy Gordon just did enough to narrow the angle. Make sure he couldn't bend it inside that near post. You see him here. Toure stands Ziggy Gordon up. Now playing on the left side. Quick one two with Shuj now. Monbois. That's onto his right. Now back onto his left. And it requires a save. It was one of those cross shots that may not have been intended to end up on target, but Mejias had to do some work. So here's the resulting corner. And Shouts for a foul against Natter, not heated. The player stays down and the referee, Casey Rybelt, is whistling play dead here. The referee, Casey Rybelt, has given a free kick against Tommy Urich. Does Mark Natter have a case to answer here with this arm? Over to the monitor. Now, this normally only goes one way. Here's the verdict. Urich, the halftime sub. To level for MacArthur. Here's the penalty. Urich scores. And it's 1 1 in Campbelltown. MacArthur get a goal that they feel they will be good value for, albeit coming through a means that Wanderers fans will be aggrieved about. Really opening up now. Numbers committed forward. Wanderers, can they strike? With a few gaps there. Hemet! Good save. Kerto fingertips round the post. Well, that's brilliant. Brilliant from Hemet. Brilliant from Kerto. Question is, please to give us another one before full time. Paul oh, Petratos had designs on the top right corner, but it didn't have the bend back. Mariapa camped in the attacking half now whenever MacArthur go forward. And he's able to outfox Nazarene. Mariapa, all right into the near post, and Yanu couldn't turn it the right side of the stick. Look in the end, it's me. Mahias who dodges a bullet. Hemet from ground level had the awareness that Nata was on the move, and what a pass from Mark Nata. Ogawa! It gets a touch from the keeper. Is it enough? It is, because the defence gets back in covers, and Shushnia puts it behind for a corner. Well, what a great passage of play that was, going forward and defensively. Is this Wanderer's moment? Petratos. And 
Jimenez slides through the box. Najarine back into the mixer. And the goal for Hemet. Toma Hemet's late season flurry might be sending Western Sydney Wanderers to a first ever win against their nearest rival. Casey Rybelt is checking an offside, which is normally not the done thing on the monitor. Normally the VAR manages that autonomously. Well, Phil talks through it. Well, Toma Hemet's not offside. That there is no doubt. It's just whether Natter comes from an offside position and affects the play, which I don't think he does. Gee, I'd hate to see this ruled out. Natter, you can see coming back from an offside position. Jordan Much was never going to get to that. It already cleared him. But they're going to disallow. Wow, what an anti climax. Well, got to respect the referee's decision. Tranos, one last hurrah. Budokunas! Oh, what a chance, the glancing header. And it went wide of the post.